These two mystery golfers won 61 times on the PGA Tour, including four majors, using a classic style swing that I believe creates easy power and may add longevity to your golf career. Right after this, let's examine a few key moves that I think embodies this style of swing and how they might help you develop a solid and efficient golf swing as well. So stay tuned. All right, so the two mystery golfers you're looking at on the screen are Billy Casper on the right and Gay Brewer on the left. Now, of course, Billy Casper had the more prolific career with 51 wins and three majors, but Gay Brewer also exhibited the elements of a classic golf swing that I think are worthy of copying if you'd like to play golf painlessly long into your 70s and 80s. So let's take a look at three key points that I think really hallmark this classic style swing. Number one is forward press, or just a press. You're gonna see they both do it a little bit differently. The reason for the press is to get your body in motion, overcome inertia, enabling you to take the club back very smoothly. You're gonna see that Brewer does it by kicking in the right knee and hip, like that. And then he moves into his backswing. You'll notice if I were to draw a line right on his right hip like that, you're going to see that in his takeaway and halfway into his backswing, he's going to he's going to press target words and then he's going to break through that line with his hip by 2 or 3 inches. Kind of an Austin style pivot where he's getting his pelvis shifting more towards his right instep. That's the way that he would press. You're going to see that Billy Casper did it just a little bit differently. He kind of, watch this, he doesn't really have a, a press like Gay Brewer did, but he kind of did a little step. Watch his right foot as he kind of picks it up and puts it down. And that just, again, it's a little bit of motion to overcome inertia and help make the takeaway straight. All right, now let's take a look at their hip action a little bit closer. You're gonna see, similar to a lot of the great players of this era, you're gonna see a very pronounced tilt in the hips at the top of the swing. You see that? That's pretty amazing. That's quite significantly tilted if I were to draw a line kind of across where his belt might be above. You're looking at maybe a 20 degree tilt. Let's also take a look at Billy Casper too. Again, you're gonna see this tilt across the hips. So not just a flat turn, we want our body to have some kind of tilt as well and that really helps set the weight on the right foot, allows the body to rotate or wind up on a really good axis to preserve our swing plane. Now once they both loaded up into this tilted position you're gonna see a stomp move. So they've unweighted their left heel completely, drawn it off the ground and you notice it also rolled the left foot to the inside. This really gets a lot of weight loaded up on the back leg. And then they're gonna come out of that as they transition into the downswing by stomping. Watch Gay Brewer, very pronounced stomp specifically into the heel of the front foot, stomp, just like that. And that really starts a chain reaction that creates a lot of power in the downswing as well. Let's watch Billy Casper do the same thing. Stomp. Sends the lateral shift of the hips. Left hip gets well outside the heel transfers the weight very powerfully and creates a stable base to whip the club around. This is what we're talking about. Ground forces. Stomp and push off. In fact, Billy Casper stomped and pushed off so hard that his back foot would drag along the ground several inches because it was so weightless. So, press, tilt, stomp. Hallmarks of the lower body action of the classic style swing. I think they're very worthy of you copying and they might be really excellent triggers 
to help you boil down this style of swing to some really simple key thoughts that you can take to the golf course. Hey, thanks again for watching. I'm Steve, and as usual, I will either see you in the next video or I'll see you longer and straighter down the fairway. Everybody take good care.